What is up everyone, Ducky O'Brien here, and I'm back. This is episode 41 of my No Man's Sky Beyond playthrough. First of all, I would like to apologize for releasing these playthroughs so late. Uh, the last one I released was on March 13th, I believe. And I'm recording this on April 28th, so it's been over a month and a half. And I would like to apologize. I haven't been doing right by you guys, whoever is watching this. But yeah, I would like to thank three people real quick. Um, I know you guys watch it, so Nefer... No Man Sky Space Dude and Jared. Thank you so much for the support. I don't deserve it, but yeah. Um, a quick explanation as to why I have been super late, other than I put it off for too long, is that I cover video games, like new releases. I apply for keys on portals for. Um, content creators like emailer and terminals and then PR people developers and publishers look through key requests and then they approve them and then what I do is I try to stream the game on Twitch and then I make a video for YouTube and then I write a written blog and then I post all of these on Facebook and Twitter to get more exposure so that I can get more eyes on the games I'm trying to find a target audience for that game so that has been taking up a lot of my time and then while I was doing that the coronavirus hit obviously and that made it especially difficult because I used to go to my public library to upload my videos because I have limited upload bandwidth and then uh, you know you can't go there anymore so I've been doing it at home and my upload speed is way slower so I've been prioritizing uploading my my game coverage videos and um and i decided enough is enough i've been putting it off for way too long and you know my mentality is well i want to keep this mentality that as long as one person is watching i, I want to keep making these videos even if no one is watching i still want to make it a uh, correction because i like this game and hopefully the more content i make for it uh, the more exposure I get and people realize that, hey, this game could be okay for me, you know? So yeah, uh, again, apologize for re releasing these so late. Um, month and a half later is inexcusable. But yeah, on the upside, I do want to say that I have been streaming this game more oftenly, more frequently on Twitch. So if you want to check that out, I will link the VODs in the description below. Uh, they're good for 60 days, so um, I might highlight them and then they'll be up forever, but yeah. Uh, they're not as focused. I, I ramble a lot, I rant a lot. They're also a lot longer. So, yeah, if, the, if that interests you, you know, I will make that available to you guys. Alright. Now, let's see. Last we left off, we needed Emerald. Because we're going to try to make an Indian drive to go to the star system so we can hatch the egg. I did play around with the mech. The mech is awesome by the way. I have a video on that. I have two videos. One is a guide video and the other is a meme video which I'm not proud of. But <laughs> uh, being in quarantine has driven me a little bit insane. And it's basically just the exo mech twerking. So for about 40 seconds. If that sounds interesting. <laughs> I have the video up, but yeah. Uh, we need Emerald. Kind of, we have a regular hyperdrive. We have Cadmium Drive. Let's go to a red star system then. And get or a green star system, I mean. Okay. Let's see. Oh no, I need the galaxy map. What am I doing? See. My form, no filter, galactic core, free explore. Okay. This took me a while to get used to, by the way, this map here. Um, where are the red star systems? Oh, 
It's one over there. No. Okay, I'm gonna use my mouse and keyboard real quick. Okay, uh, let's see. Can I go to this one? Oh, nope, not that one. <laughs> the one I'm looking at right now. Cool. Yes, this one. Nope. This one. Well, I don't want to jump to it. Set a route. Okay, I guess I'll look around here then. Oh, there's one here too. Oh, oh. There you go. This one. All right. I think I went to the wrong color system, but that's okay. <laughs> cadmium. All right. Let's get some cadmium. We need emerald. We'll get cadmium, and then we'll get the the green drive, and then we'll go to the green star system and get some. Emerald, and then we can get the Indian drive, and then go to a blue star system. Uh, convoluted process, but you know, makes sense. And by the way, I hope everyone is doing fine. Um, thankfully, I I am doing fine, and my family is doing fine. But it's kind of interesting to see all of the changes. Uh, events happening that I've never seen happen before, like meat shortages. Uh, a lot of things that I took for granted, uh, you know, you're losing them, so. But the best thing you can have is your health, so. I don't see any cadmium, let's land. Oh, it's low grab, nice. Okay, let's make this... I feel like if you make it bigger, does it dig less? I forgot the specifics. Let's make it bigger, yeah. That's not what I meant. Nope, no. <laughs> nope. Okay. Completely forgot how to change the size. Hmm. That's fine. It has it has been a while, I must say. Should not trigger sentinels by using the terrain manipulator. Which is odd if you think about it, because they are supposed to be protecting the planets and I am deforming it quite horribly. And I'm harvesting valuable resources from the ground. It's probably like a programming thing, I get it. I'm just saying from the lore perspective. Kind of hilarious that I can get away with this. I need about 250. Left bumper, okay. There we go, now it's bigger. Alright. Let us look for more. This is oh great. Latin fine. 
We should scan stuff too. Rusted metal deposit? That's a thing? Wow. I think you can refine rusted metal into... I think it turns into ferrite dust, if I'm not mistaken, right? Okay. Oh, the low grab is pretty cool. Is this new? I don't remember. Just floating along. Very gloomy. I mean, perfect environment for a horror film. Hmm. Oops. Biggest size. I asked. Faster. I think I got less though. Eh, it's good enough. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's see. The Indian drive with cadmium drive. Install the... Would be emerald drive? Yes. Alright, we need wire, wiring looms. Oh, just as a side note, I do play on my main file for my Twitch stream, so that is... Pretty close to maxed out as a character. I don't have Quicksilver, that's the only... Only downside. Call in the anomaly. Oh, actually, hmm. I feel like the anomaly is very buggy. I have warp cells. Okay. Let's go out of here. The nearest explore to the nearest star system. Let's see. Oh, with the controller, it doesn't work as well. So, let me use keyboard and mouse. There we go. Uh, go there. By the way, I tried out something uh, called the NVIDIA RTX Voice plugin. So, if you have a NVIDIA video card, a graphics card, what you can do is, and this is very neat, you can install the plugin and it will filter out background noise for you and it works pretty well I would say like there was a guy I don't know who he is on Twitch but he was showing a clip of himself where he had a fan on the microphone and he was hammering his desk and it managed to block that noise out with minimal delay added so that's Amazing, that's mind-blowing to me. I think that's pretty awesome. Okay. Let's get a lot of these. All right, eight, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> go we got the emerald drive installed now we can get our indium
Yeah, still thinking about it. It's, uh... I, I, I took too long to release these. Apologize once again, like... Yeah, like, some of my podcasts I haven't updated in like a month either. Um, there's one that I do on Mr. Robot, because I really like that TV show. At least season one, I think is fantastic. The other seasons are okay, but I really like the character of Elliot. Activated Emerald, huh. Hmm. Any other planets in the system? The station there. Uh, it's only one? Really? Upload all. Like this is a little buggy as well. Eh, activated emerald. I think I can turn it into regular emerald with the refiner. If I recall correctly. But yeah, like I was saying, um, that one, I just don't know what to do for the episode I'm on. It's very tough to find a common, like, element, thematic element that I could write about. I'm gonna focus on the character of Fernando Vera, because I think he's very interesting. Uh, but en enough about TV. Don't want to bore anyone here. <laughs> I will still talk about it because I love... I love talking about movies and TV shows. That was a burb. Where are you, burb? Whatever, I saw the shadow of it. Gotta scan everything. It's free nanites. Do I have, um, oh, I don't have, shoot, this is not going to be good. <sighs> okay, let's make this quick. I don't have a shield for cold on this guy, on this save file, so he's going to freeze to death. Where is the activated emerald? Silver dioxide, silver dioxide. 170, you perfect. Yeah, extreme planets don't mess around. Especially in the storms. Animal. Something is going to attack me. It's, uh, try to stay away from it. You can't trap animals in the ground, by the way. I tried. Oh, my God. Possums! Why can't I scan this? Okay, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Just need to get out of here. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get out of here. Look at that go. Okay, let's check how much we got. Let's see if this works. Accounts on our Indian drive. I don't have it. Activated indium only turn into chromatic metal? I don't remember. Shoot. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, uh, let's just go to a different planet.
X-ray. Let's see if we have fuel in our hyperdrive. Fuel it up. Okay. We need another... Oh wait, we can go to a blue system? The Indian drive. That's my thought. So look for another green system. Okay, this looks a little bit more promising. Emerald, alright. Enfi, or Enfi. like lovely planet Erfinium 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 Emerald perfect I, w I think I would love to play this game in VR It'd be fantastic just like walking around and looking at all of the plant life and animals. Like I wouldn't play it for like hours on end. I mean just like, you know, 20 minutes taking a walk on an alien surface planet. Planet surface, I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> That looks like uh, giant beehives. Oh, plant. Darn you, plant. A 250 we'll get extra so that we can create an infinite amount the process is very similar to cadmium as well as indium I think activating indium or emerald does the same but if you put in emerald with chromatic metal in a refiner it will produce more emerald and you can turn the emerald back into chromatic metal so you can have a closed loop and infinitely produce either chromatic metal or emerald to your heart's desire. You do not need to go to these systems and mine them. Mine these deposits. It will save you a lot of time and effort. Uh, I think it's definitely worth doing. There's a bunch of other really easy refiner recipes like condensed carbon and oxygen will net you more condensed carbon in a 1 to 6 ratio. Um, uh, stupid plant. Alright. Do we have a thermal shield up? We do. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. All right. The weather shields are worth getting. You only really need one. Uh, see, I'm not sure about the specifics because I used to know all the details in and out when I was playing this game like 
But I believe someone said the environmental shields do not stack. Now I could be wrong. I need to check this out for myself if it's accurate, but even with just one, you will have like seven, eight minutes. What is it? Critical exposure in one minute and 47 seconds. Is that correct? Doesn't feel like it. Hmm. Let's ignore that. Usually it's around seven, eight minutes of just free time. You can wander around without worrying about shields. Okay, we have enough. Let's call our shuttle down. Our humble shuttle. Build ourselves the Indian drive and then get the egg. Okay. Alright. We need to select the mission for the egg. Upload all. Is there a station here? I wonder if that's like an actual station or a haunted one. Let's go in to give ourselves the TP point. Oh, pirates. We don't negotiate with terrorists. Get out of here. They're gonna attack me for ionized cobalt. They must be very poor. <laughs> They're broke pirates. It's like, look, boys, he got ionized cobalt. Let's get him. If I could donate credits to them, I would. Like, you poor souls. You, you think ionized cobalt is worth attacking someone for? the galaxy map. Oh, I forgot to change my mission. Let's see. Okay. Now we can call it the galaxy map. Then the current destination. Where is it? I call Alice Station current mission. I want to give me a path. I have all the drives installed, so. Let's zoom out a little bit. this sometimes the waypoints get a little bit messed up uh let's see again Found the call of the Void Egg. It won't give it to me though. Let's let's try to reset the mission. Oh, I forgot the button prompt. <laughs> what is it? Is it stick? Can I reset it? Uh oh. Hmm. Mark solar system, yes. Yes. Oh, there we go. Wait. Oh no, it's so far away. Oh, that is 920 light years. We need to reset it. Oh, 
How do I... Hmm... Formula, we don't need that here. Oh no! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, well. We have to make 10 jumps. Ain't no one got time for that. Alright. I'm gonna Google how to reset a mission in No Man's Sky. Hit P. Okay, let's try it. Thank you, dude in forums. Let me give a proper shout out. What am I doing? You gotta give credit where credit is. What a odd but fantastic name. Okay. Look at it. A oh, peace mission. Hmm. I can't seem to reset it though. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I am holding the mouse button. I can't seem to reset it. So I guess we're just gonna go the old fashioned way. Ten jumps, here we come. <laughs> We're in it. We're in it for the long haul. In it to win it. Oh, and now it is gone. Like the core black hole. What is going on here? Yes. Seem to be having some sort of technical difficulties right now. Okay. Uh, I believe... Did it just disappear on me? Oh no, right, right here. Let's see, all the way over... Oh my god. It's so far away. <laughs> it's so far away. All right. I wish I had fully upgraded hyperdrives. You can make longer jumps in one go. It's lovely. It's quite lovely. Okay. And again with it not showing- there we go. It takes a bit. It takes a while. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Oh my. Oh my. I have no warp cells. Please tell me I have enough mats to make them. I remember when I first started playing, making your first hyperdrive cell, your warp cell, was such a big deal. I'm like, I can leave to another system? I don't want to do that. It's scary out there. Oh wait, I didn't refuel it. I'm, I'm a dummy. Okay. 
I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> uh oh, you gonna leave? Catch you later, suckers. Let me see if it's like you have to wait a little bit or I have to deselect. That's weird if I deselect the system out of jump range. I wish it would just queue them up. Well, this kind of reminds me of uh, my stream that I did where I was jumping to the core. And back then, black holes were randomized. They didn't have a set exit, but they did kind of put you closer to the center. Like that was the deal with the black hole. Like it was a random location. You could save massive amounts of fuel because it would jump like 10 times a normal jump. But now black holes have set outputs inputs, whatever, they're linked to specific systems, so you can kind of plan the optimal route to the center. Which is pretty cool, but back then it was very difficult. It was very time consuming, so what I did was I got a S-Class Explorer, I fully upgraded the hyperdrives with uh, S-Class mods, which reduces fuel usage and increases the amount you can jump in one jump. And then the entire stream was like literally hours. I think it took eight hours of just jumping from system to system. And then I still remember this. I ran out of fuel. And then VP Gaming joined my game and he made me a bunch of warp cells. And then he gave them to me. I still remember that. Shout out to VP Gaming. I wonder how he's doing. Some of the good old days. get very nostalgic when I play this game. But yeah, this game has like one of the best communities I've ever seen. It's like the least toxic. I mean, there are still toxic people who play this game, obviously, but it's one of the least toxic, most cooperative, most like giving group of people I have ever met. I think those kind of people are just drawn to this game because it's not about killing things. Well, you could kill animals and sentinels and other people if you play permadeath. <laughs> By the way, permadeath? My goodness. Uh, so, if you're gonna try a permadeath, I'm gonna highly recommend that you immediately check your settings and make sure that anyone can join and anyone can do damage is turned off for the love of everything that is good. That used to be the default settings, it might be different now, but so what people do, and I'm not I'm not joking about this, people will join multiplayer games for permadeath to look for people to kill. And when you die in permadeath, your save file is gone. Now you can back up your save file so that if you die and you lose your save file, you can just copy it back in. And then you have your character, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having permadeath, so. So these people uh, just go in and try to kill you to wipe your character. So that actually happened to me. Oh, shoot, what am I missing? Alright, dust? Uh, indeed. Let's see. Let's make a quick shopping run here. So I remember because I was flying out of a station and then I died suddenly. Someone came in, joined my game, tracked me down, and then blew me up at the station as I was exiting. And I was like, are you kidding me? I died so many times doing my permadeath run. I went to the center in permadeath as well, so. Uh, I still have the footage, because VP Gaming is super nice. He recorded many hours of footage, uploaded it for me to use for my video. I didn't release it and I feel really bad about it. It's one of the 
few things I feel really guilty about. Uh, it turns out that, you know, it's no longer relevant, the method we were using, but at the time it was relevant. But yeah, uh, I feel I still feel really bad about that. <laughs> I still have the footage. I still remember everything. Um, but yeah, should have done VP gaming a lot better than that. Just... Oh well, live and learn, right? Live and learn. I'll make it up to him. I'll make a. Uh, Journey to the Center and Permadeath video guy just for him. Updated. I'll record my own footage. Can't be lazy. Okay, what do I use for the casings? Oxygen. Okay, well. I don't have space. Go. Buy some oxygen as well. Is this game out on the Switch? It should definitely be out on the Switch. Like, I think it'll be a perfect game. I don't know if it's gonna run well, but I think it'll be perfect to play on the go. Like, Just exploring space, taking your sweet time. I think that would be fantastic, actually. Okay, we have enough ferrite dust. Could always use more, but this will do for now. With this purple coloring, the lighting, it looks like cyberpunk. Digging it. We should be getting close. Oh, we made it. There's one more jump. One more jump, fellas and gals. <laughs> gotta remember. I have at least one female viewer now. <laughs> All right. I should say other than my mother, who is my my best supporter. It's hilarious cuz they don't know anything about games. All right, we're here. Egg, do something. I'm gonna wait. Examine the egg to learn of its requirements. Wow, this egg is so picky. What am I supposed to do with it? Life compatible planet? What does that mean? There's a lot of planets here. Well, it says life compatible, so let's go with this one. Examine the egg in the inventory. And powerful anomalies and strange colors. I don't think this is the right planet. Conjures a powerful vision of a world beset by powerful anomalies and strange colors. Okay. 
Man, can you imagine if babies were like this? They're like, I require a planet and it must be like this before I am going to be born. Powerful anomalies and colorful visions. Oh, it won't scan this planet. The asteroids block your scans now. Plated planet? Hmm, that's a... Uh... Let's see, try this one then. Powerful anomalies means it's a... Uh... Extreme weather planet, so... Scanning it. Selenium charred planet. I wish it would tell you the weather right from the get go. Desert planet. Hmm. How many planets are here, by the way? Frozen planet. Uh. Powerful anomalies and strange colors. Uh, I don't know what it means by that, but let's go to this one. Egg is so picky. Powerful anomalies and strange colors. I'm still trying to figure out what that means. We have the pulse champ upgrade. I wonder. I don't have anything on this save file. What a shame. Alright, this planet has strange colors, I think. Let's see if it has uh, anomalies. Oh, okay. Now I need to go to specific coordinates. Reach target coordinates plus 4, minus 49. Uh, okay. Well, if you look at the coordinates, that's right there on the lower left hand corner of your dashboard. So, minus 4. Minus four. I can you go away notification? I need to know what the coordinates are. <laughs> Place. Place. Oh my god, I, I don't care about the planetary charts. My baby needs to be hatched. My, uh, plus four, minus 49. Okay. I'm gonna do a pulse jump. It's gonna be slight. Or at least go into the atmosphere and then go back down. It'll be a lot faster, so. Let's go like this, see how much we skip with this. Still not enough, let's uh, go a little bit up. I don't want to overdo it, let's uh, go right about there. Night train interference. Now can I jump? Okay, screw this. We'll just, let's play it safe, you know? You know what they say, haste does indeed make waste. We're in minus nine now.
Just say uh, the planet has a lack of colors, that would be more accurate. It wasn't enough that you need, the egg needed a specific planet. It needs a specific location on that planet too. Incredibly picky. Oh wait, but I don't have enough... Oh wait, I do have enough space in my freighter. I forgot. Uh, on my other save file, I have all S-Class trips, so I need to get rid of one. If I want the oh, that's gonna be sad. Oh, okay. I worked hard to get those chips. Oh well. I'm gonna keep my squid exotic. I like. I remember who who found one for me. I forgot. Uh, all the names. There's a dude on Twitch who saved a uh, squid exotic for me. It was such a nice thing to do. Okay, we're at plus. Approaching plus four. Okay, now we're gonna go to minus 49. Let's see if I have to go to the left or to the right. Minus 7.6. Oh, it's going up. We need to go this way. Progress. Me and my egg. Off on a grand adventure. I'm going to be a father soon. <laughs> This is taking quite a bit. Should I do a pulse jump? Haste does make waste though. We made it this far. Last time I messed it up by overshooting. Planetary charts. Enough. Get out of my face.
We are very close. Feels like... You're actually giving birth to the egg, you know? It's like waiting for it to be born in the hospital. Getting close. Last four, minus four and nine. Here we come. All right. This will be refined on approach, but I am here now. Plus 4.2. Let's go slow. Let's take it easy. Take it easy. 4.2. Oh. That's enough there. fine-tune this. Can I just go on foot? I don't think I can go on foot to be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, this is... Oh, I can. But how will I know where to go, though? Let's wander around until I get it, I guess. Way to see the coordinates on my oh yeah I am I can see it now all right Let's see going up go the app is away four point two three nine is perfect it's going up go this way Let's worry about the 4.2 first. Going south. Singing to me. Oh, 4.19. Let's go back up north. Yeah, 
Okay, 4.19, and then let's go. Three nine point oh one oh east. Is it here? Be super convenient, but I don't think it is. Forty-nine point oh one. Okay, I'm here. In this bridge, what is God? Oh, are you kidding me right now? I have to make hexite? What the heck is hexite? Oh my goodness, this is a very involved process. Let's look at it again. Uh, Corvax casing, which is going to be easy. Pugnium, that's easy. But Hexite... Shoot. I have to do the... Whatchamacallit. The Atlas Station missions. So that I can get the recipe for Hexite. Assuming. Do I even have that? I don't think I do. We can check though. All products. Yeah, I don't have Hexant learned. Uh, oh, that's the material. Okay. Is that the food? Got the catalog. That's 250, so it implies that I can mine it. What is Hexite available on this planet? Indium? Take it back, it was not an Atlas quest mission because you don't get 250 of it, you just get one of that material. Or Actually, is it? I don't even know. Actually, no, it might be. Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, well, what a disappointing end. <laughs> I thought I would get it, but no. I have to craft a, a harness now. Alright, let's call down my ship. I want to explore this planet more later anyways. Like a nice planet. The egg has an echo lo has lo echo located a source of hexite. Okay. Let's see where. Off planet. All right. Well, we'll just end it there. We'll save it for next time. Okay, I thought Hexite was a Alice Quest mission, but it's not. Alright, it's on the planet. Oof, a lot of time saved, because that is time consuming, my friends. Alright, just saving it multiple times to make sure I'm very OCD sometimes. Alright, there you have it, folks. This has been episode, I believe, 41 of my playthrough. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. Again, apologies for taking so long to upload the episodes. Um, 
I can't really find an excuse that will make it okay, but I will definitely try my best now uh, to upload them on time. Uh, but yeah, I really do appreciate you guys watching. Uh, anyways, if you have any questions, comments, things you'll like for me to cover, or things you'll like to see, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane in these trying times, and catch you guys next time.